Hi, I'm Robin Mankin with Phoenix Ball Balancing. 30 years ago, ball drillers were determining bowlers' axis points by using oil rings or tape. Both methods were imprecise. Since all major methods of drilling balls require knowing the bowler's positive axis point, we decided to come up with a better way and a more precise way of determining where that point is. This method requires only the software that we provide and a digital camera such as your smartphone. The method is contained in the Phoenix Ball Balancing System. It will also be sold as a standalone product. If you have a minute, I'd like to show you how it works. This is the screen for the PAP locator. You will need two pictures of a ball being rolled down the lane. The ball must have two marks, a primary mark and a secondary mark. The default locations for those marks are, for the primary mark, three inches over and one inch up from the center of grip, and for the secondary mark, the distances are five inches over and two inches up. These are somewhat arbitrary, although these numbers work pretty well for most right-handed bowlers. For a left-handed bowler, the horizontal distances would typically be negative. The pictures of the ball should be as close to the foul line as possible. We want the pictures to show the true PAP location, not the location after forces on the ball have started to act. We'll put the first picture in this left-hand white box and we'll normally do that by going to a file on the computer, although we could double click if the picture is on the clipboard. So I'll click number one, load picture, and I will select the file that I want. And we'll try clipboard number one. This isn't from the clipboard, but it was named that. When you select that ball, you will get a picture of the ball as well as a square overlaid on top of the picture. Notice the cursor now has become an arrow. It's double-headed when the cursor is next to the left or the right side of the box. If you get close to the top or bottom, it becomes a vertical arrow. What we're going to do is for each side of the box, we're going to drag with a mouse, drag that side until it's tangent to the corresponding edge of the ball. I release the mouse, come up here. I don't have to be right on the line, just as long as the arrows have changed. Push my mouse button down and drag, just tangent, release the mouse button, go to the next side, make it tangent, go to the bottom, like that side tangent, and we're ready to go. Now it's time to capture the ball, which is step number three. After the ball has been captured, now it's time to, to click on the points on the ball uh, corresponding to the primary and secondary marks. We'll go to step four, click this button, and now the picture is ready to accept the location of the primary mark, which is right here. So I'm going to get right where I want to be and click. Oops, I missed it a little bit, so I'll just click again as many times as I need to until I get it right where I want it. Then I go down and click step number five and do the same thing for the secondary point on this ball. So it's going to be right here. Click on it. And when I do that, step six becomes enabled. I can load a picture for the next picture box. I'm going to use clipboard number three. I repeat the process with the sides of the box for this picture. Be as careful as you can. Make all four sides tangent. And on the right side, it's going to be hard to see my the, the side of the box. So I'm going to go up here and click black and when I start moving these sides, they'll change to black, which makes it easier to make the side of the box tangent to the, the, the ball in this picture. I'll leave it black for the bottom. 
also that will work once I get the ball squared out I'm going to adjust the left side just a little bit once I get the sides tangent to the ball go down to step number eight and capture the ball the next step is step number nine click it and then click on the point on the ball that corresponds to the primary point and click step number 10 and do the same thing for the secondary point on this ball double check your coordinates for the primary mark and the secondary mark I use the default value so I'm going to come down to the right hand corner now and click find the PAP and when I do that up in the upper right hand corner I get the measurements for the PAP from the center of grip the PAP is three and three fourths inches over and one and eleven sixteenths inches up. If it helps anywhere in the process, you can zoom in or zoom out either ball or both. Notice also when I find the PAP. It is located on the ball, indicated by a red dot and the word axis point. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, visit us at phoenixballbalancing.com.